Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, I'm doing today this uh, new room for this new year. Dodge, test your pivoting and network evasion skill. You can see it's about firewall. So it must be p about that. So, <coughs> sorry, uh, 46 6. Let's start as usual. Uh, I almost got lost in this. Uh, what was the IP again? 46. Uh, 46.6 guys I'm not sure just to be a disclaimer I'm not showing the flag because I will send it for write-ups because if some people whenever I make a video without showing the flags they straight give me a dislike in YouTube so please everyone is interested just for the flag I'm not showing them so I'm doing my best and I don't know why I keep uh, Someone sharing their experience and I see some two people or three, they, whatever video I made, they keep making these dislikes. I'm just, uh, I'm not showing the flags. If you want to learn, learn my experience. I learned from some, some other people's videos. It's fine. If you're just here to see the flag, you can go to check other video and channels. If you have a comment, if you think it is a better solution, and you think I can make better, give me an opinion in the comments so I can learn too. Uh, just keep hitting me with dislike it doesn't help anyone to be honest with you because someone is learning and the other one is just throwing stone in the road I don't get it to be honest if you don't like say what you don't like any case uh, the first thing we uh, what is this uh, I always like to do this rust scan to to make it fast so I can see this port 22, port 80, port 443. So if I go like as usual, you go to assumption. Uh, basically, okay, it's set forbidden. So if you go to oh, sorry, I'm going to my own computer. Uh, if I go to HTTPS. Okay, I get it. Remember, whenever there is a HTTPS, it's good to. Okay, let's do that. It's a forbidden to. But for HTTPS, it's always good to see the certificate. So if I go to the certificate, tell me dodge dot try hack me, dodge try hack me. So you can. The first idea that come to your head is when you see things like that, you go to etc hosts. Oh, sorry. Vim etc hosts and then you need to add that IP. So our IP is 10.10. .10. Uh, hold on a minute. 46.6. 46.6 and then you have a website is dodge.ryhackme. So we can go there and then we think that we solve part of the problem. If you go there, I'm still forbidden. I'm still for uh, no dodge. I can go to HTTP dot dot try hack me still forbidden in the port 80 and HTTPS is port for it's we we'll go again because in my Firefox it's forbidden too the first thing when I when I arrived here I thought hey it's forbidden it's firewall I thought maybe they will use web suite and change the header for x into localhost. My first thinking was okay maybe it's forbidden and you only access to this website from localhost not from direct. So I used web suite using the x -forder. but then he said hold on a minute why don't go deep in this port a uh, port 80 port 80, 22 or something and said let me ask my friend nmap because sometimes I forgot about it. SC minus SS uh, SV SC minus SV. Let's hit the port. Uh, f let's start with 80 for the sake of argument. I can go also uh, leave that one there. Let's put hit the port 443. You can do this in the beginning, but sometimes I'm not take longer. I always like to use Raska Raskan faster. Uh, let's 
So in port 80, there's nothing special there. Uh, no, I think I did a mistake. My SC, let me repeat that one here. I'm just telling you my process of thinking when I was uh, doing this room before I got lost for half an hour because I thought the forbidden part here I thought they only can access for certain IP or basically uh, a local host so changing the header to X forward X forward header that's what I was trying with Bab to do that then I said no let me, let me go uh, we see we have an Apache there, it's in forbidden, so we could in port 80, so it's nothing special there. When you go to port 443-TPS, these very interesting things happen here. Remember when we did the, the certification, it said dodge the trihack me, and, and oh, sorry, we, we could get all of them here. Uh, so from the set you get them, sorry I forgot about this. So you can do with unmap or you can just come here. You can see they are here. Uh, so your question is, yes it's a DNS name but it's not, it's interesting things this, all this, these domains. Why well, you can uh, copy? You see WW here. Remember Apache will treat website differently. Uh, you can copy, it's a new. So let's do all of them and see what happened in the... Let's copy all of them. Because WW is not the same as there. So if I copy there, let's add all of them for the sake of argument. So we have a couple of domains here. Okay, you can do that uh, domain in uh, subdomain. Uh, you can do sub subdomain enumeration on this, and you might pick them up, or maybe not. So for me, that's how I solve it. So I start first with the. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see this. I only see it now when I'm doing. Uh, so this is interesting. Which one we arrived there? Net ops. And then. Yeah, there. Now let's put that IP. Remember the dodge without a W we couldn't find anything. Remember this is known for Apache. Apache would see WW and uh, as different website. It is not the same. Okay, let's do that. So if I do now that, remember, we, we didn't have a... This one didn't give us... If we go now to the WW... Of course, every time you change domain, the SSL, the SSL will... And then we have a website. So the website is under WW. Sometimes hosting company they do this mistake as they do website design. They register domain, but not a WW. For, for Apache, this they are two different things. Of course, when you come to this website, it's all the dead links. There's nothing special about this. So even if you go to page source, as usually try to do things, this CDN, SSA, CSS style, logo is this. So there's a cut. Uh, you can know there's a image directory. So basically, there's a jQuery. There's nothing special here. So the only domain that, whew, so it's the image folder. So basically you have all these images on, so there's nothing special about it. So we have the website, that's fine. Let's play around what we have here. We have the blog one. So if I go to the blog, forbidden and the HTTP, is it forbidden and the HTTPS? Okay, we need to do that. Again is forbidden. So now that's why the X folder came. Then we have a dev. If we try the dev, let's see what the dev gives us. Okay, the dev you get something. We have PHP. Uh, the first thing I thought because I know the 7.4, this is an old version of PHP and it's well known as has security issue. 
So you can see an Apache running as, uh, under 7.4, the, the PHP INI. Sometimes you can look here if you find any funny things. Uh, uh, disable threat safety disable uh, not sure this, this is something we can interest in here or we just rub it all from load models uh, engine then you have dev SSL in the dev because we are in the dev one Apache environment variable text application you accept the application gzip navi Path user local as pin. There's nothing there. Server signate is not Apache 2.4. Of course, here you might think and run around to remote address 10.10.2.14.198. 10, what this IP? This is my IP. They give us the directory so you can know the folder. It's in the so the normally is varw.html, but you can see different directories. But they give you the, the virtual host. That's why you have different website domain name. And nothing special in the deck. The the directory is uh, uh, index.php file. The index file. Um, I thought to find something here. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if we can find something. Maybe someone find uh, a different way to solve this room. I'm not sure, to be honest, because I can know the is if anything that we can catch from here. I can't see it. If there is something, I don't know. This my SQL. It's running. Uh, compression enable. No cache. I don't know what. If any security things that socket c port standard local variable dead dodge again we have the the folder for the directory so no, i know the, 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 that version of php it must have some kind of, of security problem that 7.4 because php license because remember most all server now they use PHP 8 so this one is old I'm not sure why he's using the old version is there another way to solve this room using this I don't know but let's continue for now so we have a dev then we have this new one the touch remember we have ended HTTPS now let's uh, confirm if we have anything we don't have so it's forbidden and uh, so let's see if this one what we'll have on it. This is for, but if we go to HTTPS uh, advance accept it's forbidden. Touch me, not dodge. So again this one has no value for us. Then let's try this one. As always we start with port 80 because we don't know what exactly port 80 doesn't give you anything. Let's go to HTTPS oops HTTPS I think is this one that uh, the interest now we have a blank page it's interesting but we come back to this one because this is the one the interesting one then this one it called ball so this I will come back now that the one the ball one again is nothing there if I go with HTTPS let's try if ball one has anything again forbidden the only one interesting for us is this one the dev one so we have possibly there then we have this blank page is blank page for what of course we can do uh, for both these ones because we can access to them we can get go buster and try to do directory transfer if we find any directories in it of course when you find page like that the first thing you do is just check the page source we have the style, we assume is a style, but there is very interesting things here. Is this firewall.js and then cf.js. cf.js is a JS query, so we're not interested in that. If you open files, you see now it said fetch fire fetch is fetching something. What do you fetch in? So if I copy this, it's fetching this file. Send some response to that. So basically the first idea to come to your head is how about just call the file? So we know there is a file called firewall 10110. So we just put it there. And then we have this update firewall rules. 
UFW UFW usually is Debian Ubuntu firewall, a simple firewall command, easy to use. The first thing we know is it said allow 18 for 43. So the question is why this is forbidden if it's allowed? One thing they just not allowing us in Apache in Apache itself. Um, the first thing come to you, why is D9 an, uh, an FTP? So is D9 an FTP is allowing 80 and D9 another for version 6. Uh, uh, not version 6, for IPv6. So the first thing is, what command we need to do? Remember, oh, this is why I, I, I confuse for a couple of times, because if I say SUDFW status, he said it's invalid command. This is not invalid command. This is a real command, so he's not allowing all the command. Then I said, hmm, so let's do, so I think, I'm interested in this part. Why is blocking it? You have to play, I just say, allow 21. I want to unblock this. I now said, uh, it's still dinner. Rule updated, rule up to six. Why is it updated and it's just refresh the page? Oh, now it's a law. We have an TCP. Then I tried, I don't know why this one didn't work for me because it should work if you put TCP. But you know, uh, I guess invalid command. My guess is it's only allowing us to certain command, not all of them. So basically now we open the FTP. So if we open the FTP now, so you can come, you can think what we can do. If we open the FTP, you can just go FTP and I can go back here to let's say if we find something interesting there, why not? No, F oh, sorry. Now the FTP is open. We can confirm now. Um, let me put. Uh, so we open the FTP now. We have access to FTP. Let's go there. Uh, P21. Let's see if Nmap can. Of course, now if I go to the FTP. <laughs> Let's see, make a profile preference. Where is that font? The use custom. I want to make the text bigger. Okay, it's fine for now. Uh, and I just say, I know. I tried anonymous, just do there. And guess what? We are in. And it uh, this user. Let me let me go back now. It's an FTP server. It's a three zero three NFTP, and then a normal safety login was loaded, so we already have that. I'm not sure if this version look old for me, but in any case, if you look here, very interesting part is we 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 only can read it. We can't download it. So if you get get user.txt fail to open file, you don't have permission to download this file. Then my mistake is, guys, when whenever you go to just always check the the hidden file. Now you can see what we have. Before I, I spent a couple of minutes here by mistake. I didn't check the hidden file. Then we have this. What we have here, I can I can get the bash history. And also, I did a mistake when I do the bash history because uh, we already have a bash history here. Um, so when you download it, where, where is it? Yeah, there. So what? Uh, I just make directory. Uh, let's call it uh, FTP. CD FTP. Um, let me exit so I can go back. I know Nemes. Let's go password. LS minus LA. So let's get dot bash history. 
so we we can check bash history what it have and then we can has ls minus a we have that oh we don't get it why i don't have it which directory cdftp I know NMS uh, direct uh, ls minus la get that bash history in case we have some uh, get dot bash uh, history okay let's uh, ls minus la so if I cut dot bash history this we need it later. So he's cutting file called setup.php and cut post.php for now. This doesn't help us to get help us to get any information for that. So but it's information to just keep in mind these two. Then what else we have we can read. We can read bash history, log the bash RC, local the profile. And then interesting we have this. So let's go to SSH. If I get always means I look for the permission. This is interesting. I can't read it and I can execute. So I can get this one. I can't guess get this one. And I can get this one. These two I can get both of them. So let's get authorized keys. And let's get ID RSA backup. So if I come back to my FTP download, so we have these two files. If I cut the ID, what is the ID is? Oops, sorry. Where is that? How you make a text bigger in these things? Edit, keep on show the profile. Edit. Uh, profile name. Use custom default terminal size, select block, neither. This is an old Ubuntu. Uh, use custom, use system, no, use font. Oh, you can make it bigger here, okay. Because in case, guys, so you can see what I'm, it's not like too small, you can see it in the YouTube. So the first thing we have is this private, uh, so we have the private key, you can guess, is. Uh, so that's cool. So we can use it to access SSH. But the question will be which user? No, uh, I don't think there's a uh, one more here. <laughs> uh, help, what command we have here? ls minus la. This is the SSH. If I go out of the SSH, ls minus la. You can see this is exactly this is a home directory of someone. Someone uh, FTP. This FTP is the home directory of a user. But who is this user is? Um, the name of the user usually you can't find it. So what, how I got it myself? I got it from the other file we got. We got the the authorized key. If I get the authorized keys, remember it tell you this. Try hack me dash lamp. So this is a name called Challenger, and that's how I got it. So my idea was there is a user. I assume there is user was logged before. So and and I did try this user. So I said, okay, of course you know we need to change the permission to that SSH key. Otherwise we not can. Then we can SSH minus I, I DSA, and let's use this name that we got challenger then we can go to our ip what's the ip again 46.6 46.6 and then if we uh, you know if we if it will work we log directly guess what we are in we are in ssh if we go there that user there uh, head minus c4 user.txt and that's 
uh, just to confirm it's uh, yeah it's the and that's the flag now we can read the flag because the flag now is under I can read it you see um, it's under mine and the ID is challenger so we could we can here check that bash history and then we know this what this this is a history of setup and post uh, if I go to home we have four we have the challenger the cobra tag me ls minus la uh, home ubuntu it has notes so we can say what's inside note of home ubuntu notes it said alter user root at localhost 35 by password I, I, I couldn't use this one to be honest uh, is altering in a database or somewhere but we can keep uh, open mind about it where we can use it later on um, but for now let's continue if I go now to home try hack me the bash has to it's to know so we can't have anything about it uh, the profile and th uh, anything so we can read these things but again there's nothing special here now let's go to the next one home cobra again we have a history for cobra so we can say cut and and uh, we can't read it you can see now it's so uh, we can try <laughs> you, home cobra.bash history you can't we don't have permission to read it so it gives us an idea that the pivoting is to cobra so after getting this information so we, as I say we have home so we have a note in Ubuntu that give us these things but we have also an information in the that thing we can think about it is in the home challenge our user in his bash history so what is this two file are for you know uh, so the question is let's find them find minus type file minus name uh, setup.php error to dev null so we don't have let's try find this file who is this setup.php that is cutting why is taking more long oh so we have it in var w notes api setup.php okay uh, can we read this file uh, let's save in var W no notes API setup. We can't. We don't have permission for it. So this file we're out of it. So let's find the next one. The next one is post.php. Why this file was there in the history? So that's the truth. We know as a if I can see that less var w notes api post.php oh no uh, minus la we can read it so we can read this file okay let's now so if we can read it let's read it Okay, what this thing? Stitch is required the config.php, so this config is somehow interesting, but the first thing you see, hey, 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 there is something interesting. What is this? Eco base decode post. Okay, you can go <coughs> do the command line <coughs> or uh, be lazy and just use uh, Cyberchef or do command line or whatever you want to use. And then you can see now title to the list content define a requirement design user interface setup development environment ta, 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 and then you have this cobra and this so you can see this is the classic ctf so basically it just gives us the password for for cobra cobra then password is straight there 
ID we are Cobra now so what exactly we can do with Cobra so you know we pivot from Challenger to Cobra LS minus LA Challenger I can go to uh, home Cobra LS minus LA then I think special uh, oh this bash history cut bash history bash histo history uh, history exit there's nothing special there of course whenever you go there because now we have a password not like a challenge over there we can use the, the classic and it give us straight it's a user new password apt when you have these things always these type of things in trihack me well, you, you, whenever they arrive to root it's like this room creator they just come to this website search for uh, anything and they just add it so you get apt and then you have as you do the one that worked for me is the last one so when the shell exit the update command exited and so we can come to here I just copy that line and put there and then uh, just enter and then how am I am root and then if I go cd root ls and I get the, the flag of course head minus c7 root.txt so you have the flag of the root there of course now when you have there we can go to we are root now you can check what the hell happened in this website wp you can see uh, um, you can see the all this uh, um, ls ls notes the public index of if I go to Alex ls that default default is the one that have the if, if we go to uh, cut default HTML index.php you can feel it what the hell you see the forbidden so you already text so it's not like uh, it's blocking us in, I, uh, in, in uh, some kind of uh, IP blocking or something it's just that's what the file is it's a, it's a rabbit hole here so basically he gave you a message what Apache normally show you think that there is so it's straightforward so we have that so if I go to see the HTML that's the firewall we got last time that's a firewall uh, uh, the firewall uh, uh, we have then you're interested in this file we didn't notice it so if I go to this copy cd that file then you have magic.png so look to that magic if I go to magic.png.php this is a reversion usually we use on PHP so it's very interesting by putting it there I'm not sure if we can use it because we don't uh, this because the ls myself magic.png.php you can only read it from the outside it's said by the owners and by WW data not sure if we could access if there is another way to do that but in any case that's one way so we are in the upload file then we have the next one is cdhtml uh, this is the, the file one then cdhtml ww oh so vim index this is one in this is the dev one that is the PHP info page so we know that so we don't have the next one CD notes what inside the notes uh, vim index.php Lo header location public HTML okay so you reverse to the then we have look uh, where is that file Uh, CD etc Apache CD etc Apache 2 ls um, uh, CD sites available 
I think it's this one, yeah. Yeah, if you look at me.conf, this is the file. You see now he's redirected to 450. That's why we don't act, we, do, we have all these forbidden things. Uh, redirect, this is the, then, and then you have, this is the dev dodge, uh, that's the SSL. And then we have uh, the W, do, you see now he did, he did for the W, not for the dodge itself separately. That's why we couldn't access this time. Then we have this, the not dev dot HTML. And, and that's it. So basically, this I'm not sure if there's other way to solve this room. I'm, I'm really suspecting. Uh, is there uh, something we can use in this? Uh, I uh, when I Google, there's no really uh, security vision, this specific version, but this is not the latest version of PHP in any case. So, so it's it is what it is. So the whole thing was here. Then you have this. So you just need to open the, FT, the FTP get the file and then of course um, log on it and that is the room thank you very much guys and hope you like it and if you have any different ideas please let me know in the comment and have a good day